Uh, g'day. Today we're going to ferment um, purified magnesium chloride and as you can see I've got a concentrated solution of magnesium chloride here uh, which has um, crystallized on the bottom somewhat um, but we'll just use a little bit of this in conjunction with some warm water. So let's put the warm water, let's prepare our yeast first. This is brewer's yeast. Okay let's put that in a little cup. So what I'll be doing first is uh, just activating the yeast. Let's get a little bit of sugar, not much, about not even a teaspoon. Uh, whack that in, in there as you can see. And then just add a little bit of warm water. Not too much, just a little bit. Out of the kettle. And just add your yeast. And that will and I'm just going to leave that for about 15 minutes. Um, and that will do what's called activating uh, the yeast. So what we'll do is then we'll pour this mixture into our, into our uh, brine and I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how I do that. Okay. So first of all, we'll just add some sugar and arbiterium out and try not to spill it like I just did. That'll do it, a couple of spoons, I guess. And then we're gonna add our warm water. In this case, I've just warmed it up out of the kettle. Um, it's about, here it's about 40 degrees Celsius. Whack that in there, that'll do. And get your uh, chloride. So I'm just gonna add an arbitrary amount of chloride into our solution. That'll do it. I guess maybe 50, 100 mils maybe. It's a bit more for, there we go, a bit more for good luck. Uh, so this is about, I don't know, 40 degrees Celsius, 38 maybe. Um, so now our brewer's yeast is ready. All I'm gonna do is just pour that in. That's it, beautiful. And now it's time to put something over the top to let it breathe. Now all we're going to do is just put something over the top, uh, like a bit of material, uh, to let it breathe and put it in a warm place. Uh, and this is just a piece of um, linen, a bit of cloth, quite breathable. Uh, put the rubber band around it and clean it up and we'll set it aside. And there we go, all ready and uh, let's go put it in the sun. Here I've just put it in the garage. Uh, and that gets the sunlight probably uh, six to eight hours a day and that'll be enough to keep it warm. Probably take, I'm thinking, a couple of days for it to really kick in and get going. Um, yeah, and that's it. And um, I'll do part two a bit later. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.